about true NAS external storage, which I had a problem finding how do you enable it. So I read uh, a couple of articles and I did search YouTube. I couldn't find even the Nextcloud article. Um, I had problems because I could not install the SMB, so I had to use the local option wherein I will mount uh, my local storage that is from my data sets from TrueNAS. And I'm going to show you how it's done really quickly so that you could save a lot of time. So first things first, so what you would need to do is to go to your administrative settings on your iCloud after you logged on. Then you go to the external storage. As you can see, I have done a lot of mistakes and I've tr tried to figure out. So here's an example wherein I try to mount it, it would always give me an error and uh, I couldn't I would not know why and I didn't want to spend more time on it. So all I did was to check section by section. So I was able to mount at MNT, which is my the root of uh, true NAS data set mount. And after that, you have the NAS. So I'm going to get rid of it because I got this working. And this is where I would mount uh, the folder within Nextcloud. So once you've got that set up, Okay, so you have your, you can give it any name and you will choose external as local, authentication is none, and you just leave it at that so that all of the users can access or you don't want it, then you can just give it for a specific user. Okay, once this is set up, let's jump back into TrueNAS. Here you would uh, first need to have your next love setup, as I said, and in this video I'm only going to cover how you can make that uh, external storage mount seen by Nextcloud within these data sets. So now you go to app and here you click on Nextcloud and you click on, we'll make it a little bigger, you click on edit the application. Let's make it a little more big and then you scroll all the way to the bottom once you've configured all of your configurations needed for hosting the next cloud. So here where it says additional storage, you click on add and the type you give it as host path and choose, this is an important part where you say slash MNT external media. So this is where you're trying to expose the mount that comes from next cloud external media. And you point that to where you want within your data sets. So I've chosen my pictures. So this is where I sync. Once you do that, you update, and after that, the next cloud should be able to see iPhone sync folder where you've chosen to sync. Okay, let's refresh that. It's giving me, I think I need to log in again. There it is, click on it. External media, as you can see, and that's the path and from there onward you'll be able to access your data and sync your iPhone photos to your NAS. Hope you liked the video. Thank you.